Hi folks, it's, um, it's terrifyingly huge hand time again. Look at that, fucking hell, it's enormous. Wow, big hands. As for the big hand fan, uh, Chris, who uh, obviously has some kind of thing about big hands. But anyway, um, hi Chris. Um, yes, Dom Lawson here from uh, Metal Hammer magazine. Hope you've checked out the new issue because it's rather fucking brilliant. Um, and if you haven't, what are you gonna do? Um, still available in uh, in all good shops and some bad ones, incidentally. Um, this is the penultimate Iron Sandwich of 2011. I'm not gonna be asked doing any over Christmas, so uh, I was gonna say sorry, but like like you're gonna be sat at your laptops over Christmas going, oh bloody hell, but what's the Iron Sandwich? You know, that's obviously not gonna happen because you're all gonna be drunk. Uh, and unable to move due to overeating. So well done on that in advance. Um, so today, uh, like I say, there's a dearth at this point of the year of, of new releases, um, but there are obviously lots of things, great things in, indeed, coming in the new year. And so today I want to tell you about an album that I could have easily overlooked, actually. Um, it's uh, coming out on January the 20th, 2012. And it is by uh, Dario Mollo and Tony Martin. Now, those names may mean a lot or they may mean nothing to you, but for those uh, for whom they mean absolutely nothing, um, Dario Mollo um, is an uh, Italian guitarist who was in a band called Crossbones a long, long, long old time ago um, and has worked with uh, Glenn Hughes, he's worked with Graham Bonnet, and most notably, I think he's worked with with Tony Martin. Now, Tony Martin, of course, was the singer in Black Sabbath um, after Glenn Hughes, actually, um, and uh, is actually the longest, I believe, the uh, the longest standing Black Sabbath singer after Ozzy Osbourne, uh, or so he spent the longest amount of time, made the most records. I think one more record than than Dio made with with the band, um, effectively. Um, Anyway, Dario Mollo and Tony Martin. Uh, well, what I was going to say about Tony Martin really is that there's there's always you know because of the the stature of of Ozzy and of uh, the late great and much missed Ronnie James Dio, um, the Tony Martin era of Black Sabbath is often overlooked and sometimes treated with a little bit of disdain by people who are saying it's not really Black Sabbath. It's you know all those albums were shit. Blah blah blah. And actually, with hindsight, and well, you know, for those of us at the time who actually liked them, it was never an issue. But um, you know, with hindsight really says that you know that that's a, a an era of Black Sabbath that's really, really, really worth going back to. I think, and um, I mean, from the Eternal Idol onwards, uh, those albums, The Headless Cross, is a fantastic record, as I'm sure many of you know. Um, Tear, if that's how you pronounce it, is a great record. Cross Purposes is a decent record. Um, we don't talk about Forbidden, which was the album that uh, had a guest appearance from Ice T on it. Uh, and was produced by Ernie C from Body Count. It's uh, who knows what was going on there. That that album was, it has to be said, pretty fucking dreadful. Uh, but uh, you know, a low point in in Sabbath history. But um, but in terms of uh, Tony Martin's contribution to Black Sabbath, I think you know he, he was he was the singer in the band over a period where they made some really really great music, and it's very underrated music. And of course, understandably overshadowed by the Aussie era and uh, and of course the Dio era, you know, and uh, the you know and the, the consistent greatness of those eras does mean that you know uh, Tony's contribution does get overlooked a lot. I think, and um, and I think it's something that's that's not often acknowledged is what an absolutely amazing singer. Tony Martin is. He's one of the, the great heavy metal singers, I think, of of, uh, of all time, really. Um, but of course, he's you know he's not been. Uh, he was in Black Sabbath. He's not been in a band of his own or had massive success as a solo artist. So therefore, he, he quite often gets um, you know kind of missed missed off the list of of the greats. But I think he deserves to be there. But anyway, he, t he teamed up with um, Dario Mollo, this Italian guitarist fella. Um, I think about a decade ago or so um, for an album called The Cage. Uh, and then another one three years later called the Cage Two, um, which were which were I, I have vague memories of them. They were they were they were pretty decent records, you know, very uh, kind of metal meets hard rock kind of thing. Um, uh, and, and again, you know, because of the I guess the obscure nature of, of of Dario Molo, and 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 because they weren't, you know, I think they were released independently and all the rest of it. Um, they weren't, you know, they weren't hailed particularly, uh, you know, in a in a wide way across the metal world as brilliant records. But but they were they were good anyway. But um, they've made a third one, and it's called the Third Cage. 
um, and it comes out on Frontiers Records, which is um, which is rapidly becoming a uh, the label for for AOR and hard rock stuff these days. You know, they have White Snake on the label, and and um, and yes, I think, and and you know, and. Uh, you know they're, they're kind of rapidly signing a, a, a quite an impressive roster of bands. Um, there's a really great AOR band called The Magnificent that are assigned to them at the moment. Uh, but anyway, um, this album it's uh, released under under the the moniker Mollo Slash Martin, and it's called The Third Cage. Um, and I've got to be honest with you, it's absolutely blown my head off. Uh, it's it's one of literally one of the best hard rock albums that I've heard in years. I mean years and years and years. It's um just for just for it's just a phenomenal record and and I've never heard Tony Martin sing better and it's really it's it, you know if you've never really dug into to what Tony Martin does this is the album to check out um it's it's an album that you know for those of us that are, are very much pining for Dio and and you know wish that there would be somebody around them that you know makes records in in the vein that Dio used to make in his solo band um, this is this is an album that that could, could cheer you up considerably in the new year. I think it's um, it's uh, the production's fantastic. It's you know br brilliant, state of the art production. Really, really big, bold, clear, you know, precise production. It's, lo it's lovely. So that sounds exactly as big hard rock albums should. Um, and but it's the songwriting. The songwriting is astonishing on this album. They, they, every single song has a has a wonderful chorus, massive hooks, incredible you know performances by everybody. Mollo soloing is is out of this world, and Tony Martin just sings his absolute knackers off on it. It's just you know just phenomenal. I'll just there's a couple of tracks in particular. Um, I'll just have a look at the track listing here. There's one called um, the opening track, "Wicked World," is great. It's pure. I mean, it, this there's big shades of of you know. Um, Tony Martin era Sabbath on this album understandably I suppose um, but the opening track Wicked World is an absolute stormer and then there's a track called Still In Love With You which just the opening riff it's got one of those kind of slightly uh, eastern sounding you know um, uh, riffs to it uh, you know like um, let me think uh, a bit like Fear Is The Key by Iron Maiden if that means anything to you that, that kind of riff a um, bit Led Zeppelin-y you know and, and it's just oh man the riffs the melodies it's just a phenomenal record absolutely astonishing and it's and it's weird because the, you know things like this you know that so much is released these days there are so many albums released and in AOR and, and hard rock and stuff there's a vast you know there's a massive audience with this stuff across Europe and in South America and all those kind of places and I think in the UK a lot of this stuff does get overlooked Looked, except by you know, I mean, Classic Rock magazine will, of course, you know, cover this stuff. Um, but there's not, you know, people don't tend to jump up and down and shout about these things unless they're by artists that are already incredibly well established and commercially successful. And I think um, Tony Martin is somebody that really deserves a break. And I think if you, you know, if you love big anthemic, melodic, heavy metal and and hard rock stuff, um, I can see fans of Def Leppard and White Snake and all that kind of stuff really digging this. I can see fans of Sabbath and Dio and uh, you know um, the, the Heaven and Hell record, any of those kind of things. I think if you know if if that's your cup of tea. Um, uh, then this album is I, I can't recommend it highly enough. It's it really took me by surprise actually. You know, I, say, I kind of yeah, get sent a lot of promos by by labels, and you kind of think, oh well, I'll, get, I'll give the first couple of tracks a go, and if it doesn't grab me, then that's the end of that. With this, I just stuck it on, cranked it up, and you know, I'm on my eighth or ninth listen now, and it's just it's a phenomenal thing, phenomenal record, uh, really. And uh, speaking as a, a, an absolute do obsessive it really does I'll reiterate that it really does tap into that that vibe of Dio solo stuff you know where he would it, you know the riffs are heavy but the tunes are massive and the vocals are just glorious you know they're soulful they're powerful they're um they're you know they're everything sung sung with total conviction you know um and I think it's a it's a testament to to Tony Martin really that he just plugs away relentlessly making making music and doing things you know and, and seldom gets the credit he deserves not just for being a great singer but for making great records you know and I think this is one of one of those um so like I say it's out on January the 20th on Frontiers Records uh it's called The Third Cage it's by Mollo slash Martin um and I don't know if there's any tracks available online to hear now but um I'm sure if you uh you know if you're 
um, a resourceful soul, then you, you'll be able to um, uh, get a preview from somewhere. Uh, just keep an eye out for it, you know, have a look on the internet. But I, I just really, really recommend it. It's just one of those things, I mean, it, right for Metal Hammer, you know, there's always tons of brutal stuff and, and thrash and, and, you know, the kind of classic bands and, and new up-and-coming metalcore and deathcore and blah, 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 you know, all that, all, loads and loads of stuff that I could that I could tell you about. And it's almost like, you know, it's, it's not really my job to tell you about the AOR scene or, or even... You know this kind of commercial hard rock, but this is just such a strong record. Um, it's really, uh, it's really. Um, I was going to say cheered me up, but that's not, obviously that's not going to happen. But, but, um, but it, you know, it's it's uh, it's. I'm buzzing about this album. You know, in a way that I I gener generally don't about albums made by kind of you know middle <laughs> middle aged um, former singers from ba you know famous bands. You know, it's. Um, um, yeah, so that's uh, the only reason I'm doing this really is just is just to, to give a shout out to a really fantastic record that, uh, that otherwise I suspect people would overlook. So there you go, um, fairly short and sweet one today, but yeah, check it out, Molo Martin, the third cage, out in January, um, and hopefully tomorrow I'll have uh, uh, some kind of iron sandwich for you, the last one of the year. Um, thanks for watching this, uh, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And, um, you know, Christmas is coming and, you know, that will be good, won't it, I imagine. So, um, yeah, I'm going to click on my thing. Um, yes, Satan bless you all, heavy metal, and uh, big up Tony Martin, that's what I say. Um, cheers. Thanks a lot, folks.